a lot has been going on. A lot has been going on. A lot has been going on for the good. I'm really happy for what I've seen come out of the elimination of carbonation. A lot of members are coming forth. They're denouncing Nature Boy and they're taking back the self work. Now we have a few stragglers, a few hobos that are still around, but for the most part, majority of the ex carbonation members, they seem to gonna be ex carbonation members for good. I don't believe if Nature Boy gets out anytime soon that they'll go back. Now that they have freedom in their life to see what they've been missing out on. I can't see them going back and I'm just so glad that they're taking back their self-worth and not letting a man, you know, uh, degrade them any longer. Um, honestly speaking, it's been on my mind. I honestly think that Malia, I don't think she's being taken out of the equation on purpose. I, I really honestly believe that Malia is sickly right now. Um, I believe that she's sickly. She's stressing out because it has to be running rampant in her mind. Is Nature Boy going to get out? Is he basically, you know, making us think one thing and the situation's more severe than what he's telling us? All of these things got to be running in this girl's head. The only time you see her on live is when he is on the call. So, you know, that speaks volumes. Now, we know these hobos are not talking about nothing. But a lot of people in the community are asking, um, what's going on with Malia and Nature Boy? And to be honest with you, I think that Malia honestly is holding on for as long as she can hold on. Um, I think that uh, it is definitely a matter of time before she ends up leaving the circle. You know, she might even leave before Efru and, uh, you know, uh, Aya. You know what I'm saying? But we just have to sit back and watch. You know, it's a train wreck waiting to happen. But I honestly think that Malia knows that Nature Boy's about to serve some time. And she needs to get herself out of that equation. Now, in my opinion, I believe that she's still there because if she says to them, hypothetically speaking, I don't want to be in this. You know, I want to just go home and take care of myself and, uh, you know, be there for my son, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I believe that they would probably assault her. And she's been assaulted mentally and verbally so many times in the past that I think that she's tired. And it's, it's understandable but at the same time, when all the men had left, I believe that they all should have just left, the women and the men. They all should have left. It would have been a mutual split. I think that if one of the women swayed the same way as the men, they would have been protected, leaving out. The women probably wouldn't have had a chance to put hands on anyone because the men probably wouldn't have allowed, allowed it because Nature Boy was not in control of carbonation now they had control to take control if something was a pop off and somebody was stopped for leaving so i think that malia should have taken that option when it was available but like i said people do things in their own divine time and i believe i have faith in malia that she is going to put her health first and her child and herself first and get up out of there real soon you know, we just got to sit back and watch. We have to still keep updating the public. Also, this is updating them as well. They listen to these videos. Um, now, the question about Nature Boy and him being scared. Oh, yeah, no question. He's scared first and foremost because he doesn't know <laughs> just exactly what they have in store for him. I'm quite sure even the court-appointed lawyers that he has had, the ones that even left, prior to leaving have thrown out a ballpark figure of what he could actually do as far as a sentence that alone but i also think that nature boy scared because 
a lot of people that were close to him, and I'm talking about the ex carbonation members that have denounced him. Um, he's scared because he's lost control. Now he's afraid of probably what is going to be said about him in the the community. And um, I would be scared too if I was a narcissist and I was making people believe things for a long time about me. And then I find out that these things are not true. Um, yeah, I would be scared, but there's nowhere to run to. There's nowhere to hide like you know he does when sometimes um, embarrassing moments that he won't ever admit to. But when he, in the past, used to disappear off the radar, we know it was because of embarrassing moments. He'll never share that with us, but we're not stupid, right? So, you know, like I said, time will tell what is going to happen between um, this whole situation. I, I do see something good coming out of this situation. It always does. I've been their age, they never been mine. And trust me, even things that happened in my life that I just blew out of proportion, they always seem to get better in the end. So that's what I'm, I'm feeling for these girls. And in particular, Malia. I want to see her get herself out of this situation and prosper and go on in life to be a productive citizen in society and to break these chains of letting a man or a woman control you mentally or physically and to be her own woman and to learn from these mistakes going forward and do better with her life.